first of all, I'd just like to say thank you to Washington State and to their staff. Um, I know from early hours this morning they were out shoveling snow, um, doing everything they could to make that field as playable as, as possible. So certainly a, a lot of thanks to uh, a hardworking staff and, and a great host institution. It was um, a game that you knew going into it wasn't going to be the prettiest soccer game um, of this tournament probably. And a lot of credit, I think, to both teams to play through the conditions, to play through the mud, to, to fight and scrap. Um, you know, I, I think I felt like going into the game it was going to be one where we, either lots of goals got scored because it was so slippery everyone fell down or not too many goals get scored because no one could get their footing and, and really do um, the kind of things they needed to do. But, you know, both teams fought hard. Um, I think certainly uh, the, the tradition in, with Illinois and PKs, you can look, it's, it's something that... Um, We've been before, and I think that really helped us today, um, especially, I think, with our seniors um, who have been in penalty kick shootouts in NCAA tournaments several times. That certainly, I think, helped us going into that moment uh, of the day today. And, um, you know, from my team's perspective, certainly clear in our defense, clearing balls off of the line, doing the things you have to do in, in a game like this and weather like this um, to get us to those penalty kicks. Um, so, you know, I think there were two really good um, NCAA soccer teams here today on a pretty tough surface to play on. Any questions for Coach? Coach, uh, you know, obviously Washington State seemed like they controlled the run of play a lot in the first half and a bit in the second half. Was there a point in the second half where it was like, okay, let's just try to get this thing to penalties and see what we can do and, and hit them on the counter maybe if we can before that? Um, I don't think so. I don't think we ever tried to, to play um, for penalties. I think, um, you know, it's tough for us to play the kind of style that you need to to play in this in these conditions. And um, you know, I think even in the first half, um, I sort of got frustrated with my own team because they kept trying to play balls and pass through the middle, and someone would turn and slip and fall. So, you know, I think certainly we struggled to to play um, sort of the way that we would like to play, and then we weren't very good playing the way that we needed to play. And so, certainly Washington State, I think, certainly in the first half with the wind at their back um, dominated, I thought we had some chances in the second half with the wind at our back. Um, but I don't think we ever tried to, to play to get to penalty kicks. I think we were thinking, as did they, I'm sure, one opportunity um, could make the difference in this game. And we certainly played for that. We played looking for one opportunity for the one chance that we could get the right footing, get the right ball served in, get the right person in the box. Um, I think they probably had a few more chances in terms of getting that right person there. And our defense came through big time in terms of sliding, making saves, um, doing what they needed to do to keep the ball out of the net. We'll talk a little bit about your keeper today. Obviously, she came up pretty big. Uh, you know, she came up huge. Um, you know, it was tough to hold on to balls. So I think what was even you know, more significant was the second saves, um, you know, but two big time saves early on, you know, balls out of the corner and then just making sure that she got her body in front of things. And that's the, the kind of thing you have to do in this weather. And, you know, I think for a kid from Texas to come up here and play in this kind of weather and do the kind of job she did today as a freshman, got to give her a little bit of kudos for that. What was some of your uh, halftime corrections or changes going forward? Because as you talked about, your team seemed to be playing not towards the style that they needed to in these conditions. Yeah, you know, I think what we really wanted to do, we kept playing balls in front of their back. So in in that sloppy conditions, it's pretty easy for a back to step forward and win a ball. But when you've got to run backwards and turn and get balls that are behind you and turn and look at your own goal, it's a little bit more scary in these kind of conditions. So we certainly look to try to get behind their back line a little more often in the second half. Um, you know, a lot of credit to their back line, though. They were pretty organized and dropping, and then you saw the game sort of open up, and there was a lot of space to run in the midfield as their back line dropped because nobody wanted to let the ball get behind because that's scary on the surface. Our backs dropped. No one wanted to let the ball get behind. So there was a lot of space in the midfield for um, this one to my left to run more miles than she's run in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Coach, obviously, uh, Washington State didn't have um, Cassine in the second half. Pac-12 player of the year. How did that sort of change what you guys were able to do? Well, uh, you know, I mean, I think it, it didn't really change, I think, what we were trying to do. I, I think probably, again, it makes it a little bit more difficult for them to do what I said we were trying to do, get that one opportunity. When, when you're the player that you're used to being the one who helps you get that opportunity, um, and we certainly know what that's like as we've played quite a, a bit of our season without Vanessa, and when you're used to that player 
whether it's her getting the opportunity or her getting someone else the opportunity, when you miss that player, um, it certainly makes it a little more difficult for you, for you to do that. So I don't think it changed a lot for us, but I think it certainly made it probably a little more difficult for Washington State to get the kind of opportunities they may have liked to have gotten. And, and what was your view on the, uh, on the offside call in the first extra time there? Um, you know, I, I thought the, when the ball first got served in that she was off, but I couldn't see the linesman. So I thought he hadn't called it. Um, so, you know, certainly thought, you know, my thought when I first saw it was that she was off and then thought, oh, gosh, they didn't call it. And, um, you know, so certainly, you know, but offsides is one of those things I try not to call because I know I am not sitting in the best place to see that um, rarely. Um, so, um, you know, I will say this, you know, we've played a lot of games this year and I thought the referee crew today did an excellent job. You know, there's a lot of times where. I'm trying not to say anything about the officials, but I would say today that I thought that this crew um, did a great job officiating a game that could have been pretty tough to, to officiate given the conditions that, that we had and people sliding. And is it a slip or is it a foul? Is it a So um, a lot of credit to the crew that did the game today. And then I said, just talk a little bit about sending your team to the next round uh, in your senior season here with the final PK. Um, it's exciting. Um, I mean, you never kind of want a game to go into PKs because hard to really judge that game by PKs, but I'm excited and I think we fought hard this game and um, we really put a lot of effort into it and I think um, we're all prepared and ready for the next round. Claire, just talk about a little bit uh, career high and safe today and what you, what you saw on, on the line there and penalty kicks to make a couple big saves. Um, as the game went, I was just trying to do what I needed to do and not let it get behind me, just keep my body behind it and try to hold on to it, but if, if I couldn't, just try and keep it close so I could make the second save. And practicing PKs and practice has been really good. I, just, I went in really confident, and I knew if I just went the right way, I could save it. So, Was there any research done? This is a question for all you guys. Was there any research done on, on Washington State as, as far as if it went to PKs, what, what they would do? You're going to ask me to, to divulge all of my secrets. <laughs> Um, thanks to you guys and the internet, um, there's certainly information out there. Um, so, you know, I think we do as thorough a job as we can researching our opponent, um, whether it's the style they play or the players and what their tendencies are. Um, and certainly, you know, um, past penalty kicks isn't beyond something that we might try to find, for sure. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know um, if we had any information on the the players that took the PK, and Claire's not going to tell you if she knew or not. <laughs> <laughs> Any last questions? Uh, Vanessa, what was your mindset on that final PK game? Um, you just kind of go into them confidently, and I mean, I knew if I made it, it'd be the end, but you kind of don't want to think about that when you go up to them. So I just, I've taken them many times before in my life, so I just want to go out there and kind of do the same thing that I normally do. And what was it like for you playing in those muddy conditions out there? <laughs> Tough. <laughs> um, you definitely can't get any footing. You can't strike a ball like you normally do. You can't really pass it the way you normally do. It's kind of just get something on it when you can and hope that it goes the right direction. But it was tough, but I mean, we all fought and we were there for each other, covering for each other and doing what we needed to do. What was the injury that you part of the season? Uh, I sprained my MCL. When did you return? Two games ago. <laughs> <laughs> this was her first full 90 minute, 110 minute game um, since early September. So um, she played, I think, a full half um, the first round of the Big Ten tournament in about 20 minutes the game before that. So this is certainly a, a, a huge step for her. I mean, um, to go from not playing a lot to, to playing a 110-minute game in those kinds of conditions, um, you know, I think that says a lot about she wants her season to keep on going. And um, certainly this team, I think, is playing for this senior class so that, that they can keep on going. Um, Claire, could you talk about how uh, hard it was to have constantly have that Washington State offense up in your face in the first half and then how nice it, what your thought process was throughout the second half? Um, I think my defense did a really good job. I mean, they were coming at us, but I mean, my defense blocked a lot of shots. They were like, you know, just jumping in the way. So that was great. And then the ones that did get through, um, I was able to keep them in front of me. And again, my defense was there to help get rid of it. So, I mean, I think we did a really good job that way, just slowing it down and trying to minimize the amount of shots they were getting. 
And then as far as the second half went, I think it was nice to get a little bit of a break, but you know, there's no, you don't let down. I mean, our defense did a great job in the second half, and we definitely adjusted to their style and did really well.